Hey, have you ever heard of Shel Silverstein? He was an American author and musician, illustrator, particularly well known today for writing a number of children's books and plays. But he did much more than that. He was multi-talented. He was born in 1930 and died in 1999. And some of his works, I believe, are well worthy of being rediscovered. I recently came across an epic poem he wrote in the 70s. And an epic poem can be described as a lengthy narrative work of poetry. The Devil and Billy Markham, which was originally published in six parts in in the January 1979 edition of Playboy. Yes, that Playboy. (laughs) Essentially, this is one long monologue in verse, uh, in which a single narrator recounts the story of a cocky country singer who foolishly takes an impossible bet and then compounds his error when he bets double or nothing. I found it to be very powerful, maybe because I read in it something that reminded me of myself, and um, I could identify with the character in it, the character of Billy Markham. I figured that maybe you, dear listener, would too. So I thought I would try my best to read it on the art movement. Uh, I'm going to try it anyways. So here we go. Shell Silverstein's The Devil and Billy Markham. The devil walked into lion bars on a rainy Nashville night while the lost souls sat and sipped their soup in the sickly yellow neon light. And the devil, he looked around the room, then got down on his knees. He says, Is there one among you scum who rolled a dice with me? Red, he just strums his guitar pretending not to hear. And Eddie... He just looks away and takes another sip of beer. Vince, he says, Not me, I'll pass, I've had my share of hell. And scribbling on a napkin some song he was sure would sell. Ronnie just kept whispering low to the snuff queen who clutched at his sleeve. And somebody coughed and the devil scoffed and turned on his heel to leave. Hold on, says a voice from the back of the room. For you walk out of that door, if you're looking for some action, friend, well, I've rolled some dice before. And there stood Billy Markham. He'd been on the scene for years, singing all them raunchy songs that the town didn't want to hear. He'd been cut and bled a thousand times, and his eyes were wise and sad. And all his songs were the songs of the street, and all his luck was bad. I know you, says Billy Markham, from many a dark and funky place. But you always spoke in a different voice and wore a different face. While me, I've gambled here on Music Row with hustlers and with whores. And hell, I ain't afraid to roll them devilish dice of yours. Well then get down, says the devil, just as if you was gonna pray. And take these dice in your luckless hand and I'll tell you how this game is played. You get one roll and you bet your soul. And if you roll 13, you win. And all the joys of flesh and gold are yours to touch and spend. But if that 13 don't come up, then kiss your ass goodbye and will your useless bones to God because your goddamn soul is mine. 13, says Billy Markham. Hell, I've played in tougher games. I've loved ambitious women and I've rode on wheelless trains. So give me room, you stinking fiend, and let it all unwind. Nobody's ever rolled a 13 yet, but this just might be the time. Then Billy Markham, he takes a dice. And the dice feel as heavy as stones. They should, they should, the devil says, because they're carved from Jesus' bones. And Billy Markham turns the dice, and the dice, they have no spots. I'm sorry, says the devil, but they're the only dice I've got. Well, shit, says Billy Markham. Now I really don't mean to bitch, but I never thought I'd stake my role in a sucker's game like this. Well, then walk off, says the devil. Nobody's tied you down. Walk off where, says Billy Markham. It's the only game in town. But I just want to say before I make my play that if I should chance to lose, I will this guitar to some would-be star who'll play some honest blues. Who ain't afraid to sing the words like damn or shit or fuck. Who ain't afraid to put his ass on the stage where he makes his bucks. And if he plays this guitar safe and sings some sugary lies, I'll haunt him till we meet in hell. Now give me them fucking dice. And Billy Markham shakes the dice and yells, Come on, 13! And the dice, they roll and come up blank. You lose! The devil screams. But I really must say, for we go our way, that I really do like your style. 
Of all the fools I've played and beat, you're the first one who lost with a smile. Well, I'll tell you something, Billy Markham says. Those odds weren't too damn bad. In 14 years on Music Row, that's the best damn chance I've had. Then arm in arm, Billy Markham and a devil walk out through Linebaugh's door, leaving Billy's old beat-up guitar there on the floor. And if you go into Linebaugh's now, you can see it there today, hanging from a nail on that wall of peeling gray, Billy Markham's old guitar that nobody dares to play.